come on, man. Hey, hey, Mindful Exchange you Podcast. You are now tuned into the Mindful Exchange Podcast, holla, holla, episode holla, holla, holla. 61. 61 already, huh? Oh, yeah, we're going to call Ooh. this one Jetta, a.k.a. Fuck the Beat Up. Yeah. <laughs> you coming out shooting, huh? Sh- straight shots. Damn. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. Word up. I want, I, want, I want Jetta to put that camera on that motherfucker on himself today. He ain't gonna, gonna do that. Talk, That's what happens when you give him the control. This too. has been a mindful oh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Like comment. Respect. <laughs> respect. 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 How everybody week been so far? Shit, Quest, man. how was your week? My week was great. Healthy. Um, I, I, I had a celebration of life for my second mother, Mrs. You know, Mrs. Belinda Stirrup. You know, my best friend, Tom Stirrups. Mother, you know, passed a, a oh, couple man, of weeks ago. Up, you know, you know shout out to the Stirrup family, Russell Stirrup. You know, like they gave me that that peak and glimpse of what the sitcom yeah. families were like. Yeah, yeah, I've been bonded since day uno. Like there was never any quest without. That's Tom. how I met Tom. With Tom, yeah, and he was always like official, Ooh. official on the court, on the, in every, general just an official dude yeah. like he's someone I was able to go through every step of life with you know what I'm saying from 6th grade all the way to this point yeah Tom we, is a cool brother you know what I'm saying yeah. his family is A1 his dad was like my second dad his mom's like my second mom and I learned a lot what family structure was like from them since and, you're talking about moms no condolences disrespect. to all of you you know yes, what I mean yes. to the stir no up and to yourself um, since you was talking about your second mom and all that um I want to shout out your mom, Miss Nancy, and happy belated birthday. Yes, happy belated what was your mom's to my birthday? mom. Uh, the 28th, yeah, August 28th. Belated. Yes, happy, happy belated, belated to my mom. Thank you for that, bro. Yeah, nah, you know, Nancy Ann, that's my, that's, you know, that's Nancy Ann, she's one of my second moms. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like when we go to the gym, you know what I mean? When I used to be in the gym, boy, don't let me walk in the gym and see her. She don't care if, <laughs> if I got to walk all the way across that gym, I better walk all the way across that gym and give her a hug and say, what up? Yeah, man. How has yeah. um I haven't seen Russell in years. How's he been? Russell is doing great. Uh, is he in the area still or no? He hasn't been in the area in twenty five years. That's why I haven't seen him yeah. in a while. Yeah, he's been in North Carolina with his wife. They and, both know, was official on that court. Too, yes, they, man. yo, yes they were, man. Like I'm, I love them brothers with all my heart, soul, and spirit, man. Mm-hmm. And, and all I those good seen, people, man. Yeah, I haven't seen Russell in so many. I haven't seen Russell since. His, their father passed in 2018, you know, like yeah. Russell's out there doing his thing with the contractor construction stuff, Beautiful which, thing, man. you know, causes a, a lot of demands, you know, as Getting being directors, it. you know, so it's hard for him to come up and, you know, yeah. chill and all that. But he's doing great with his family, his wife, his children, you know, and um, I, you know, that was the, the, the highlight in the you know, the biggest part of my week was spending that time with them and mourning yeah. with them and, you know, having that honor to honor their, their mother who was a beautiful woman, beautiful human being and to learn and, and be able to receive her love. So, you know, shout out, you to know, him, Belinda to you. Sturrup, I love you. Beautiful thing, man. Um, death is never easy. Never. And, you know, they're at the point where they lost both parents. Man. To lose one is Fucking tragic. I can't imagine. To lose man. both. I don't ever want to know that feeling, man. It's crazy because you know, um I, I used to remember the older folks talking about when you're when you hit forty five to fifty, forty five to like fifty five, that's when you join that club of the point where your parents is old enough to be old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though we don't feel old, but you know, a lot of times our parents are I 20 feel old years. two days out the week. When our parents are 20, 20 some years older than us, so if we forty five, our parents are sixty five, seventy. Yeah. So you know what I mean. So we're in we're in we're, we're in that stage of life where we're in the club of yeah. raising our children and raising our parents. And that's where you know I'm, I'm at right now. I'm literally at that point of life because you know, my mother, you know, going through her stages of you know early onset dementia and things like that. So I've really had to assert myself as kind of like you know the father figure yeah, in my mother's tough. life and it's and, and I'm so honored to be prepared and built for that you know mm. what I'm saying I take that with you know great responsibility and honor and, and, and seriousness and yeah. you know that's what my weeks are like bro it's gym work moms kids wife repeat yeah Word up. Jenny, from, you, um, you lost a dogs. parent years ago um I lost my mother um, 
since we're on the topic, I, I feel like it's an important topic to discuss because, like you said, Hoodie, like we're getting to that point where. I mean, the hard part to accept is we. I feel like, <laughs> just like you said, you feel old two days a week. You know what I mean? I, I feel old talking to the young people. Sometimes because I'm old enough, I be to looking be at old. them young motherfuckers like I ain't old. I don't care what you say. I don't that's care why what I said, the grades. I'm say. old. I'm old enough to be old, but then I still feel young enough yeah. to be cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, you know, it'd be hard because there go old right now. We go. Yo, we put the camera up. Yo, put it up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got him. I got him. Hold up. Hold up. I got him. He got a quest. Got a crib. Oh shit. What are you doing, bro? Raising kids. Yo, this Shut nigga Jetta is fucking Jetta, up over there. Sure. Nigga, the, your camera's not on here no more. Why you press? <laughs> Yo, nigga, I'm glad I ain't have no tabs open. Word up. Oh, that's <laughs> what I said. It would have been a rap. I thought, so, I thought it froze yeah, on here. That nigga cat, we would have been, been, been a rap for the mic. <laughs> Word up, freaky ass, freaky ass nigga, 69 God. <laughs> chill, son, chill. My, I'm trying to chill. <laughs> nah, but, damn. Nah, but I, I mean, I'm some, I'm some G <laughs> shit, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard because a lot of us, you know, and I can't speak for how Jetta, you know, like I said, I don't know the details of your situation, but I do, you know, I know the details of your situation, Kurt. It, it's we never really at certain points in life we not prepared for that even as prepared as you are right now i'll never Quest, be prepared you for never it. prepared for and i've been trying to because i know what's coming soon you know unfortunately you, let me give you some advice don't try to prepare for that right okay. you got to be prepared for the what comes after um but that's things we should be prepared for anyway long yeah long before which is like burial um insurances and things of that nature we should always be prepared for that yeah. but don't obsess yourself with um that because we can't determine when it's going to happen and if you get obsessed with that yeah. because we are obsessive it's like i want to make sure things go perfect there yeah. is never any perfect it's always going to be fucked up mm -hmm. it's always going to hurt it's always going to be it's always going to be something that you wish didn't happen you know what i mean like i watched my mom slowly slowly go out right and Tom she was it too he's seen that it wasn't good man she was a warrior about that shit like she was a warrior about it but at the same time that doesn't make it any better right. um there's visuals that i have of her that i wish i didn't have but i had to have them because i was there every mm -hmm. second of the process yeah. you know because my wife you know um that's what we went through last year um you know, shout out R.I.P. to David Rogers, my wife. Yeah. You know, my my my, my father-in-law. Um, his date was the other day. You know, what I mean, we yeah. did a little balloon launch. You know, and I sent her down there. Mm -hmm. and that's the same thing that she uh, talked yeah. about. Is the is the memories that are stuck in her head? Yeah. We. Ha she said, I have so many great memories with my dad, but the things that always stick in my head is being in that hospital, watching the man that the superhero that I yeah. know not be able to be that superhero anymore yeah you know what i mean like when you see superman you see superman but then when you see him with that kryptonite yeah you, you it's that's almost unrecognizable right yeah. yeah so those are the memories that you know stick in your head yeah you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm blessed i love you know i'm blessed i got all my parents you know what i'm saying um same. All four of them motherfuckers, man. You know what He's I mean? stupid. He said all four of them motherfuckers. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know why I say that? Because it's like... Well, technically it's, five. It's, five it's, it's, it's love. Always the deepest love you can ever feel. But it's still... Not a job, but it's still a lot. I can say that because when my mom was here... Let's not sit in here and act like it was always peace and peachy and just easy. No. Uh, no to be a good son, you have to do some above and beyond shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got to look outside of yourself, do things, and they'll even disrespect you. Because my mom used to be like, I'm your mother. She Word step up. up in the house. I'm yeah. yelling at the kids for cleaning up. You better not yell at my babies. And I'm looking at oh, her like, shit. you up in my house. Okay, okay, you, know you got what? that. Nah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Know, your my mom, house is yours. You, your, your, you mom is a little, your mom is a little more gangster than my mom. I'm gonna tell my mom in a heartbeat. My mom, don't be yelling at my grandbabies. I, and I turned to her. I said, oh, hold up. I said, I remember um, back in the day from 80s until all the way through the 90s, uh, 
when you get your own house oh, and you get your own family yo, and you have your own kids, you can do what you want. <laughs> so I said, so I, I politely said to her, I said, Mom, can you do me a favor? I need you to go out to the porch and look on the mailbox <laughs> and, and read the names off the mailbox. <laughs> so we walked out there and I said, you see, that's a Jeremy Moss. <laughs> It say Davida Ma, and it don't say nobody else, motherfucker. Listen, so this is my shit. So when I want to yell at my kids, Word. Bruh, I'm gonna yell at bruh. my kids. My mom would have burnt the motherfucking mailbox off the house. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. my mom, yeah. like, and my mama told me, and to then the, the kids would have been sitting there rooting her on. Like if you talk to all my mom's grandkids, they all loved her so much because she was so about them. She didn't care. She didn't yeah. care. Like yeah, you raised them. I raised you. Look. They I, mine. I'm the Trump card. <laughs> yep, she's the Trump. Yep, I'm the Trump card. That's why they all celebrate her. Damn. Uh, they all miss her. They got her tatted up. You know. Oh, that's what's up. And she was like you said, she was. Yeah, your mom was a little gangster. She made me nervous. Yeah, she made me. She made me nervous too, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I know. I remember one time I got locked out my crib when y'all lived on um, Pennsylvania, and I knew that when I came home. And my mom wasn't there. You know it was love. I, I knew, and it was like eleven thirty at night. And I said, "Damn, I don't know. I can't. I don't got nowhere to go." Yeah. And I was like, "Damn, I don't want to knock on this door." Yeah. I stood outside for. I a ain't want to knock on the I door. Stu- I stood outside for a few minutes, and then and then the door cracked open, and she looked outside. Who the hell? Are- I said, "It's me." She probably she, had the strap. Behind she said. Her back too. She said. Like, she, she said, "What the fuck?" Like she said. What the hell you just standing out on my porch for? It's 11.30. I said, I ain't want to knock on the door. She said, well, bring your ass in here yeah, then. Yeah, she'll feed you, so house that's you. I, so that's what I said. I said. That's where we get it from, man. New was the same way, bro. Yeah, like, you you're welcome into my home. Granted, I don't have extra people at my house. Um, Because your dog is crazy. My but dog is a little loopy, man. I almost brought him dog, today, but I ain't. You, your dog, your dog, and your dog and your lady Damn, is get it out. <laughs> yeah. I, that, 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 that. So my lady is sane. She just don't take no bullshit. But I said your dog and your lady make me now, nervous. If my dog is around my lady, you got fucking problems. See? He don't with her and Juliet. He is different. He is different, and I love it, and it makes me nervous at the same time. Right. Like. Me and Liz can't even have an argument in the house where I'm raising my voice a little bit. He's not going for that shit. And I love it, though, because I know if I'm not around, he's holding it down. But at the same time, I should be able to have, like, a conversation. That's how my dog is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I can't even hug my wife. Nigga, your dog is the same size as my boo. Does he get in the middle? (laughs) Does he get in the middle or sit there and watch you? He jumps and barks. At her, like fuck, you doing hugging this nigga in front of me? Yeah, that's because yeah. you—that's because you trying to feed him to the bobcats he heard about in your neighborhood. <laughs> 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 he seen that. He seen that podcast episode. <laughs> Word up, yo. Yeah. Um, hoodie, how was your week, bro? My week was good. Um, you know, preparation, preparation. Um, I'll be heading out to New York. Um, on Wednesday. Um, Jariah's walking in New York Fashion oh, yeah, Week. That's so right. Yo, we'll be, salute, man. Salute. So we'll, be, so we'll be out there. Um, Let me find the applause button. God damn it. I do want to. Um, I do want to shout out Emily Softly at La Kim. Um, she's been helping her every week. Work work on her walk and everything. Is it's, that something she does as like a profession? Yeah, so, or? so you know, she's down with Jordan with the modeling situation. Yeah, yeah. Shout out and to Jordan too, yeah, man. She's been holding it down for years. Oh, in the yes community, sir. Yes, and, um, so Emmy does. Emmy Emmy is, does the runway for a cause. That's 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 the thing that she does, and so right. she's been helping Jariah. She's been helping Jariah with her walk and getting her prepared to do the New York Fashion Week so she can go down there dope, and represent man. herself well. And you know, she ain't asked for no money. She ain't asked for no nothing. Word? She just was like, yo, just send her down. And I mean, she's been working with her an hour once a week. Where's she located at? Um, her office is um, over where um, Old Buddies is at the church. Oh, okay, down the street? Yeah, on um, right around what the What is her name again? Her name? Yeah. Emmy, Emmy Softly. Emmy Softly? Yeah, look him. She does, it's like the Kim, and then she does the um, runway for a cause, um, and then she also helps Jordan with all the stuff that he got going on. But um, shout out to her, because she definitely um, is helping Jariah. Um, you know, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I do something nice for her, because you know, you don't find people that Mm-mm. wanna help and don't want nothing. Off the line. Usually it be motherfuckers saying they, I, I got a couple names in mind, I'm not gonna throw them out there. But a lot, we do a lot of shit for a lot of people, 
and we never even look for any uh, recognition, notoriety, any of that. Then you have those people where I understand if you work for an agency, that's a part of your job. But if you were outside of that agency, do you have the same passion to help people like Emmy does? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have that passion. And, you know, I salute the individuals that have that passion. Man, man. people still run up on me thanking me for, um, oh, man, remember when you gave all them kids the book bags? And I'm like, yo, I don't remember. I don't remember. remember. That's why I said, I don't remember. But if, if, if we gave you a book bag... She said, well, you, I said, well, we, because it was a collective effort, you know, and they was like, well, y'all, I just, you know, I remember you because you were talking and, yeah. you know, it is what it is. We all have different roles, but, but like I said, my week is good. Um, I'm excited to go to New York um, to see my when daughter. When you coming back? Um, Friday. I'll be back on Friday. My Make God. sure you get lots of pictures and a couple yeah, of videos yeah, so we can put them on the next Heart pod, yeah. man. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be. Mr. is doing her thing. Salute to you for, yes. you and Davida for coaching her leading her in the right direction man like Word. that shit is powerful man yeah so i mean i'm you know i'm excited about that you know what i mean she starts she starts dancing back up you're um, raising a boss man i'm trying yeah. you know you the doing heart, bro you're trying, trying. But what i'm saying is you know what the reason why i say i'm trying is because in in the world of social media that we're in yeah a lot of times so, i don't want to say a lot of times sometimes no matter how great of a parent you are yeah sometimes yeah things go astray yeah so when i say i'm trying yeah i i, I say i'm trying because every day i try to reiterate yep. the the values and the things that work. we believe in yeah. and so i try every day yeah, yeah. yeah. but you know you're doing I mean? but you're doing yeah. i'm exe- doing it yeah you're executing every day yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying so yeah yeah but like i said I that's still, all we see yeah, yeah nah. that's it and being and going through it yeah i did it on a daily and still do it it's all up, we man. doing we executing word you know up. and then to be a good uh, father, it's like, remember I, I was telling y'all weeks ago, like I felt bad because I didn't get as much time with my kids this summer as I would yep. like to get. Um, but on the flip side of that, I was grinding all summer to give them what they needed. So at this point, I still wish I had more time with them, but now that they need the resources that I've been able to develop to give them, I don't feel as bad because yeah. they need my support like financially too. Yeah, and I've always so. been there for my kids, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're doing what the fuck you gotta do, bro. Up, Don't up. let us put somebody in front of you that ain't doing that so you can be like <laughs> Okay, I understand. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't need nobody. Beating. We don't even we don't, be around. We don't need types. nobody beating. Yeah. On, we don't need nobody beating on their son yeah, so that they son oh, can't. Oh, so they son can't hear out yeah. their ears. Sir, we gonna have to get you a nunchuck or something. How y'all know? We have 15 minutes and 20 seconds. How y'all know? Yeah. How y'all know how we, we, we talking even about y'all? Like half an hour, sir. How was your week, little bro? Uh, it was great. I mean, it was really just the same as all weeks. You know, just staying home, playing my game. But I did go throughout the week. I had practice for soccer how's that going damn that's good overall first games crazy. on first games tuesday yeah. at whitney point okay. where's that at? it's far shit you ain't heard of it bro I, you be the one i'd ask yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i didn't have enough practices throughout the week so i missed one on tuesday yeah but i got that practice in yesterday you bring really it bring a schedule on. bring a schedule next week man so we can come it pull should up be. That. So we can come. That um, would be dope if we could pull up. Could I could, yeah, I could probably see yeah, if I can get like yeah, my school or something. Yeah, to, that'd be yeah. dope. Because I don't. I think we play Notre Dame too this year, okay. so we should be down here just okay. playing. Oh, that would be dope. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. I'll pull up. And Maybe Je- if 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 Jetta can go, he you turn know, up. Jetta be acting niggerous at the game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I be wilding out. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, no. I'm, just I don't know. You, I I'm just telling attention. you what you told me. Yeah. You said I can't go to the home games because I got thrown out. So I was just. <laughs> nah, that was summer ball. That was, was summer ball. Yeah, that was summer bro, baseball. Bro, bro, it be like that sometimes, man. <laughs> um, I'm the turn up king. And then my wife is the turn up queen. Oh, man. Like. You don't even want to stand next to her. There's times where I had to tell her, like, yo, stop arguing with the ref because it ain't going to be you. <laughs> you can't change the right, 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 you know what I'm saying? right. Like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I do the same the shit with my wife, man. Yeah. Chill, chill. And I got some of that shit on video, so. <laughs> so we, since we doing all that, Curtis, how was your week? Nah, we ain't finished with uh, Sir yet, though, because oh, you, you told us about soccer, but yeah. we also got to acknowledge that School is about oh, to start. Oh, God. Oh, How you feeling about shoot. that? <sighs> Spencer. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm not ready for that. Spencer's not, not too school? shady, is there's it? That, no, it's, it's 
not too shady. Oh, you gotta do I, I told him earlier, you got a whole like, gang of guys that'll pull up if it's a problem. Yo, you up? step on honest? that joint and let your nuts hang, nigga. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Word. Spencer's all right. I got a couple friends up yeah. there. Like, but some kids. What? It's either they're, you know, I don't know, just weird. They those pop those popular kids, you know, the ones yeah. that always be wearing like all that expensive stuff. Yeah. They yeah. act like they cool stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Then you got the smelly kids. <laughs> Tell us about them ones. So I'm not gonna name Shit. him, but there is a kid that probably does not shower Brian. Like, at all. Brian and Joe, ain't that what I'm we gonna, was just Jeff? This nigga said yeah, Brian Joe. I was saying Brian this. Joe Jeff. <laughs> I don't, I'm just trying to think of. Bit of it. Oh no, no, no. It, it's not a. It's not a name like. I don't know. Hold on. Is he is is he come from a, a situation where? I I don't know. That's the reason I'm not. You know. Yeah, that's smart. Like like he is he a cool dude? All right, that's he, a different. If he's a cool dude, he it's hot because it's like no one really met. Like he's one of those. He's like a one of them anime kids that just be um, all around. Oh, I don't give a fuck. It's Listen. like he. I'm not gonna lie. During so last year, it was my teacher had like three rows of seats, yeah, and two two desks. He was in the middle, on the right side. I was in the back left. He ain't have so it lit I was up like that. He ain't have it lit up like that. No. <laughs> he it up. Listen, so <laughs> I was sitting. I'm sitting back there. But to get out of the class, oh, man. I have to walk past his seat. Yo, but we know some. Uh, I, I, those are some you know struggles. What? It's, it's, it's be, a struggle. But I it's like, I gotta, yeah, because there's different gotta, ways you can look at it. Because it's like some kids aren't taught hygiene. Yes, right? I feel like he can. It's just and then some kids. I know his. I know he's got like a struggle at his house. I think so that's what I mean. Why well, I'm gonna say Spencer Van Etten. Some of them kids can be farmer kids too, mm-hmm. and they might have to get up and do some farmer shit before school and don't have time to shower because they got to get up and feed the cows and shuck the chickens and no i'm just i'm, I'm not just, saying, I'm that, saying person, that i'm I just know saying that, like, yeah. you know what i mean there's people like there's people that's like that you mm-hmm. know what i mean it's a um, good it's a good training ground but we know but niggas, yeah. dealing with people from yeah. different backgrounds that you don't have yeah. any control over but it gives you an opportunity to test your you know what and i'm saying we know yeah, niggas also right now the thing, that thing also the thing too though <laughs> is that the school Let you shower like in the nurse's office. There's a bathroom. Oh, but you know that's like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna go take a shower in the nurse's office. I know, but like if you gonna do is take a shit in the nurse's office. I don't even crap in school. What nurse's office is the spot? Uh -uh. (laughs) No, you'll never catch me doing that. What? I barely even like going to the bathroom because every kid's in there just vaping and it's weird. Yeah, nah. When (laughs) when it's time to go number two, you go to the nurse's office, bro. Mm-mm. Shit get crucial Like You know what I'm saying All I know is We know some grown up niggas That we know right now That we That I, I don't want to get canceled And I don't want no problems So I ain't gonna say no names But we know some niggas that stink Sir We stay I, away from them can niggas I, Can I give you some um, Words of wisdom To keep in mind When you're in school uh, Try to show some empathy When you're in class With these individuals Because yeah. it's like it might be out of their control. Even yeah, if you know, can't fathom it, you can't understand it. Yeah. It's almost like if you were taken and put in their position, it might be so horrific that it would make you feel like, wow. Yeah. That's what I was telling um, them because some, some of the kids, especially in that, in Spencer Van Netten, they have like chores well and, water and stuff and that they, they got to do with it. Yeah. 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 And if you smell like that and we can it, smell you it, you can't can smell, smell it. it. But no, my point is if you can't smell it, that means it's something that is so normalized with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been it going on. It just got to that point, yeah. 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 Just sit a little closer to the front or... Uh, and you can... Well, I mean, I got Boses in the morning, so... <laughs> get some, get, <laughs> I got a good get some three, plan four already. Yeah. Get, some, get some of that blunt spray from the air. Yo, yo. <laughs> He's going to be in class like this. <laughs> Word up. Oh, no, that reminds me. Last year, yeah. probably like a month or two before school ended, some kids had fart spray. And they sprayed it in the vents to well, make it the, smell like a fart. And it sp- and it spread through the school, and we had to evacuate the school <laughs> for like a good two hours. And keep in mind, this was like it's still a little cold. Did they out. catch them? Did they catch them? Yeah, they caught them. Oh, and these niggas. They hid the. Ba- <clears throat> so what they did is they hid the spray in a bathroom in one of the boys' bathrooms mm-hmm. in the in the um ceiling. No, uh, you know, like if you were to go to. Like Walmart or somewhere, going to the bathroom. There's like the, 
toilet, not toilet. Yeah, the, oh, the, the paper towel, towel yeah, you, you slide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they can the open them because they're not locked. Oh, you can what? Just, you can just push the thing and it opens. I didn't know that. So they hit it in there. Hmm. And I walked, they're like, oh, can you go check in there for it? I looked around, I'm like, I don't know where. It, I, it smells like it, but I don't know where it is. Because right. I didn't know they put it in there. And they had someone else walk in, they opened it, they saw it. Both of them got suspended Wait, for like how a did they days. catch them? Did they see them put it in there? Or there's cameras in the I bathroom? Yeah, I think that, yeah. Because they, 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 they knew who, too, yeah, they knew they knew who they did know. it. And I think yeah. they just like looked, went around and looked. Yeah. Oh. That day, because I was like, what is that smell? High school is when people rat and it's Snitching, really bro. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what is your plan to have a successful uh, year in high school this year? Yeah. Grades. I gotta be on that. Um, oh, c- keep, keep in mind that you're going to be here throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Whenever you don't have games and stuff, yeah. so we are going to be collectively checking you yeah. on whatever you yep. say right now. <laughs> and and living Sunday, and living yeah. through you, reliving yeah. our. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want the best for you. Word. You're an intelligent young fella. You know Word. what I'm saying? What are you gonna do? So I'm about to. I think. I think more. I'm still gonna worry more about like school and like yeah. getting on. Remembering stuff like doing. I'm gonna t- give you. I'm gonna give you some uh, advice that my stepmom gave me as a teacher. Thirty minutes a day. If if you come home and you give yourself thirty minutes to an hour a day for your schoolwork, that will make so much. That will give you so much progression in it. And it's just like what these guys tell me or used to tell me about going to the gym. Jeremy, give yourself thirty to forty-five minutes a day in the gym. If you can dedicate 30 minutes to 60 minutes of your day towards your schoolwork, 15 for this subject, 10 for this subject, yeah. 15 for this, whatever, whatever, whatever you need to yeah. a- apply it to, you would be, you would definitely be better off. That's facts. Because I used to do that like three times out of the five days during the week. Like I didn't do it every day, but if I would have did it every day, I would have probably been a, a A minus B plus student instead of a strong C C plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you, I'm not gonna lie. I think the main reason I started to like down, like I had a downfall in school. Mainly, I think it was mainly because of basketball, because all the plays, all the like defenses. It was a lot to learn. It was all to oh, keep yeah, that in the mind, yeah, and then not. during that time, I still had a lot, like all core classes, so I had to be in there, remember let me, let what me, I have to tell do. You, let me that happened with my daughter let, let me too. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, sir. Um, don't build excuses into your life. Yeah, I know that. No, I'm not, I'm not, and I'm like, not saying that. And, like, and, and I'm not saying that to doubt. I, I, I'm, I totally agree with everything you said. I'm saying that in life, as you grow older, there's always something. something. Us, we're adults mm-hmm. in here, right? And we all have jobs. We all have this. We all have that. If you can learn the science of being able to apply yourself where you need to be at a young age, by the time you get older, you'll be so more well in that to be able to deal with a multitude of things and be able to do a bunch I'm a, of things. I'm gonna break things. it down for you too. So, <clears throat> what is your favorite video game? Is it Call of Duty? Because you spoke I about a couple. What, what, what is it? I don't know, it might be ML. What are you, what are you best at? What is your- Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty, so you mentioned that, right? So if you think about whatever it is you put into Call of Duty, right, mm-hmm. and you apply that to absorbing whatever information yeah. you get from whatever class, even if it's a struggle because you're not as interested, right? Yeah. But if you tap into your learning process, okay, I learned how to do this on Call of Duty, and you know I move like that, I'm super confident in it because I can, if you apply that to learning, and yes, mm-hmm. learning them fucking subjects in school for the majority suck because it's not shit we don't we want to learn. We know it's not going to really apply to our lives. And two, the learning styles that a lot of teachers have don't suit every yeah. child. Yeah. So it's your responsibility to say fuck how you teaching me. Yeah. I'm going to absorb this the way I do and apply it the way I need to cuz you're smart. If you can I can't play Call of Duty, bro. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. That shit is complex, bro. It's not like it's a simple Pac-Man game mm-hmm. where you just get the controller and you- A lot just... more buttons. Yeah. Yo, they, got mad. Yeah. they got I mad think... at me at Call of Duty because they talking about, 
you got to read the map. So I'm pausing the game. <laughs> I got to pause. Listen, <laughs> fuck that. I'm fu- I might not fu- pause. <laughs> then I got to pull up the map. Then I got to be like, yeah. all right, now where am I at right here? Yeah. All right, so I got to take a left, then a right. So then I go, then I got to pause it again. Then you got smoked. Mm. So yeah. and, and to add on to that, because I have, a, you know, a background of teaching and training people on, you know, new, t- you know, subjects and, and how to do things. There's only, what, auditory learner, uh, kinesthetic, kinesthetic, which is hands-on and um, visual. visual. So you got to really think about how you best learn and, and, and to think about what avenues you're able to absorb the information you get from your teacher. Um, writing it down really helps facilitate and absorb the learning. So, you know, just reading may not be enough. Writing it down to really facilitate it and using your smartphone to record the yeah. teacher voice record while you're in class low key you might have to ask them sometimes too it might have yeah. to be like yo can yeah, I maybe that well, too. I don't know because there's the because there's new things they're bringing into school these packets Word. so what it is is we used to just have like basically like that flag basically yeah but there's pockets in it and you have to set your phone in it throughout the class. Oh, and then class. See, that's some shit now, we don't know nothing but about. Nothing about. But now, that's crazy. But now they have um, the basically bag. the same thing. The yeah, bag. it's a bag. So you'll put your phone in there, and yeah. it's locked throughout the entire day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't open unless, I think, the teachers, the teachers. So have at, to. at EDA, I just, wow. had to, I just had to go oh. through that. At EDA, they, they assigned you this little thing. So like, if you've ever been to a Kevin Hart concert or one of those type of situations, when you go in there, that gives you this little bag thing. Oh, you yeah, your, yeah, I remember that. Phone, yeah, you yeah, put your yeah, phone in there, there, and you walk by the thing, and they rub, and it locks it. Yeah. And so now your phone is in there, but it's locked. You mm-hmm. can't get it out. You can't get it out until you walk out, and then it unlocks the thing. Yeah, yeah so that. that's all. Know. That's the only thing with that. <laughs> so if dad ever calling me throughout the day, or mom's going to text yeah. me, and they wonder why I can't open yeah. it, I'm going to be like, hmm? That don't apply for Apple Watches, right? No, it's just. I think it's just. I think it's all Plus electronic always devices. Always on his ten steps I don't ahead. Know, shit. I think Bro, it might just be. Phones. I just need to make sure my baby girl can be he like, said, "Dad, yo, shit is real." And if not, we're gonna get yeah. a mirror link. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm. I will put it in there. Like, but like, if there's a day where stuff don't feel right, I'm probably not gonna. That's smart. So I'm all right, since it. we're on basically on air now even though we're not live all right so your semester ends in i have every semester is six weeks for me all right six so we want sir to elevate in school right yep so how about this how about if he gets a what gpa we all contribute a hundred dollars I'm with I, that's the thing though no, I don't, no, 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 we, we don't go no. off GPA and so what do you guys go off we just go off of um, overall so like 90s 85, okay so, so GPA is grade point yeah. average yeah. Right. same yeah. thing so same so thing. if you have a what a 90 grade point average that's high honors we giving him what I got 50 on I it. Think, no, I think we should go <laughs> higher than that because think about I'm it. just saying if you got 50 I got 50 he got 50 no no no, no, no. listen to what I'm saying so <clears throat> When you have children that come from households that are more fortunate, they have more incentive. It's not just that they want to learn. Right. They have more incentive. So I think if we have months. That's way too. That's a lot of time. If we have to months to say, work. yo, we can give him $800 if he achieves this. That'll be the incentive he has to reach that. Ooh. Not to say he needs that, but why not give why him that not? since he's and little bro, little I'm nephew? W- I'm with that. Man. There's I'm also with that. I'm a thing that. too that my and then if he does. don't, we gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also um, a thing that my school does called a C pass, a citizenship pass. So if you get an 86.5 or above, you're able to during like free periods yeah. or lunch go somewhere else with a teacher's permission and either hang out there and do just something. leave the school type shit not i don't think you can leave the school oh go to like a, a, go different, to like class, a different class like a different oh, class oh, so, so like, like if everybody got so like yeah so you like, got a study hall he got a study hall you yeah. can, you and can i got leave. a study hall but your study hall is lit if i got oh, okay. a, if i got a 90 average if great. i got a 90 oh, right. average <laughs> i could pull up to your study hall but yeah, yeah like and I we can make your study hall lit as hell that's usually what i what i'm gonna tell you like this I got a hundred on it. Mm-hmm. You got a hundred on it. You got a hundred on it. I got three hundred on it, man. I got three hundred on it, man. I got I got a bunch of kids. I got I, I, I do too, potential, bro. Nigga. He's gonna I do, do it, so I'm about to, Listen, I listen. And with paying two. tuition, too, listen, I gotta keep it. I do yeah. too. I got 
my bills is crazy. You don't yeah, want me to break yeah. them out. Y'all yeah, yeah. niggas will start crying in this bitch. Nah, I told his ass, dog. I paid you. seven grand for him to go to that school. He Real better shit. fucking yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. It was confusing, though, because they upped it. Yeah. So that's it, how it, it was that's first. Just, that's, like, that's the world, though. Yeah. You're going to learn that because <laughs> the way shit just comes out of left field, but the only thing you can do is either comply, agree, pay it, keep it moving. Yeah. And then later on in the future, do whatever you can to help change it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think our goal right now is to push you to be the best individual you can be. Yep. And then if you don't, we are gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> you got the and dope we, resources, and bro. And then we gonna make you. And then we gonna, like, yeah. we, we gonna make you spin on your head like your daddy. So you got that soul patch. Oh, oh, you want a baldy? Like, ah, you want a baldy? Oh, oh, <laughs> he's scared. Now he's about to get a. Uh, Keep uh, my hair. He's about I to get a hundred. I threw you the alley oop, <laughs> sir. He about to. He about, he about to get a hundred and twenty. I threw the alley oop, sir. You supposed to be like, nah, nah. He's gonna take that money and be like, you need. You know who paying your tuition? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> it's going to your tuition. Yeah. Like, hey, you can take fifty. Yeah. That's about it. Nah, but um, on some G shit though, yeah. uh, make sure you um, I'm down for that. I am. I'm definitely down for that. Yeah. And then make sure that you bring your um your Port schedule. Oh, we'll yeah. bring your schedule because I definitely want to come and show you some love yeah. and support at some mm-hmm. of your games. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's all important. Them, and also too, all my games are going to be in Spencer this year because they're doing construction. I got a truck. Here. I'm scared of Spencer. We're gonna have to mo- roll my. <laughs> but it ain't that bad. But the field is all, miserable. Y'all gonna have all, to bring if, chairs. But if we all go together, you got too many seats over there. I bring my own chairs in a tent. We can sit days, up there with a tent and everything. What days do you have your games? Because I I can go on. It it depends. Sometimes it's like yeah. Because this next week it's going to be Tuesday and then Friday. I See, think. Fridays I can make. Fridays would be the best. Yeah. yeah, I think it's Tuesdays. I think it's Tuesday and Friday this week. But sometimes it's like every other day. So it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And they're right after school too, mm-hmm. huh? So I wouldn't be able to make oh, any yeah. of those. I miss Mad at Tones games just yeah. because. I think we have a weekend game. Yeah. On either I'm on probably a Saturday. Yeah, definitely I think. pull up for that. Yeah, yeah I want to bring you out of some of uh, Tones basketball games yes, too, man. Bro. Like no, he about to go crazy yeah, this year. Yeah. He about and, to go crazy this and year. And my little cousin Amari is playing with him. He just uh, transferred to Broome this Word. year. So they live in the same building. Is they, that with him with the three brothers? Oh, you seen it? With them posted up on the, yeah, on the uh, three to heart. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 that was a dope pick. Yeah, Um. so, you know, it's beautiful to be able to see not just my child, but my family all together just yeah. moving and shaking. That's beautiful, and, bro. And they're all obsessively focused. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait, man. Like, there's going to be a few days I miss the program, even though it's a big amount of... Gu- but Tone understands the days I can't make it because it just so happened to be a lot of his games are on the days where I have to be at the program. Yeah. And as adults, we know that you can't have financial obligations right. and not fulfill them. But yep. they understand if I have to miss some. And then he has games on the weekend. So yeah, it'd be we dope for my about. Yo, we got to see those. we got... I can't wait. I got to see It's so beautiful, dude, man. man. Like, I, I have, you know, I be extra. So I always take the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, get, I be up in the stands. A few times people ask me, like, one girl was like, I'm kind of familiar with, like, cameras. That lens costs a lot of money, didn't it? She was wow. talking about that, the Sigma. Yeah. I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, my God. God, who are you? I was like, that's my son right there. Like, she thought I was working with a company that was there to get like footage and all i was like nah, that's my son i'm just getting yeah. you know clips of my child yeah you know man yeah man be dope for us all to ride out yes man, man. yes yes get that schedule um, yeah and can, my daughter man. just went back to school on thursday I, di- I didn't get the ride out this past thursday to take her back to school for her sophomore year her mm-hmm. mom and her um step pops took her out shout out to them yes yeah, loving our family uh but <sighs> She's so ready. Damn, time flew already. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Mm-hmm. Oh, ready, summertime. bro. Mm-hmm. It's summertime. crazy. Summertime is gone, bro. She didn't want to go. She was chilling. She was. She didn't want to go because she got comfortable here, but at the same time on her warrior shit, she was like, you know, it is what it is. It is, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, her housing is a lot better this year, so okay. she she's happy. She's focused, and I'm excited, man. I, I got to doctor in my family she's almost there That's so dope. she's almost there man That's so dope um real mm. quick man you know we got to be in and out today 
Yeah, Jetta, yeah, we, Jetta, we, um, we, throw some of them random videos up. Buddy, good job. You deserve a raise for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we almost went off on the tangent. Man, nobody exactly. want to listen to me when I said the 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, because you talk too low. Because you talk too low. We had 40 minutes now. We ain't even get around the room with the. Shit. Listen. Yeah, we're well, supposed to be controlling oh, this shit. I'm out here right That's now. your job. Yo, 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 yo. Um, let's do one video. I got one video. Then we out. But which one is the most powerful that we should talk about? I want to do. We can't do we can't do the joints yet. We can't that's do the, too much time. I think we should do the um no, we I can't do we the Carter. Do, we can't do the Carter. I think we should do the woman video. Yes. The woman video. Which one was that? With the um putting your hands on a woman. Put your hands on a woman. Oh, that shit was we got, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. We can get in and get out with we that. We can get in and get out with that. All right, so make sure the audio is on for that yeah, for that local that video. Trying to work the Nah, it's in there. there. It's, it's in there. there. Nah, I'm saying I got I didn't it. I didn't load it up. Oh, word? Oh, word? What you doing over yeah. there? Then you on TikTok or something? See, you see how it, it ain't switched yet? Because only one person <laughs> <Yeah>. talking. <laughs> yeah. I was Yo, switching you know, back and forth trying to You do know what I just stuff. figured out on the box the other day is we can go live on TikTok and we can go live on um, Instagram too. So I think that's better. Actually, TikTok, you got to have at least a thousand followers yeah. and we're all lame. So we don't <laughs> no, have, I, I have. I have like 2,000 <clears throat> followers no, you on don't. TikTok. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, we should go live on your TikTok. But it's not loading. My point is this. I think it would be dope to do that as opposed to going live on Facebook. Facebook is cool, but I'm just I not wish a we Facebook can go guy. I wish we can go live on all of them. I think I think we'll have So the interaction on Facebook I, I don't know. We don't ever know. It all depends because we haven't really gone live on from, any one of the platforms. From the mindful exchange? No, I'm just saying in general, I think we haven't gone live from the platforms to judge which one we would have more Bruh, within a week with. or two we're going to be uh able to monetize this yeah. this is the celebration like we've oh. gotten to a point where we're going to start getting little money and be able to build off of that but you know we put that work in and yeah. um, it's just the beginning it's just the beginning we've been at it for a while consistency is key yeah. so yeah. i think we should start going live even if we change up the platforms every week or mm-hmm. once or twice a month Let's get to it, man, and just shake shit up. Let's do it. Yeah, I got it. um, I got two thousand sixty-two. No, you followers. don't, man. Yeah, don't he nobody. Does. No, he don't. Yeah, he does. Sir, why are you co-signing that bull? It's I don't proof. Believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> this proof. Hold up. Let me see. Uh, so just while, Jetta, while this is the, going Jetta, down, you got I the can't camera. Load, I can't load the NDI the videos. Cam, Load the NDI camera. That it's not. It's, it's right there. You want to see that? Your dreads. Move your dreads out the way. <laughs> He's stupid, bro. That nigga don't He's even got a camera. He don't even got a. He don't even got a black. He don't even got a black t-shirt on. He got a. He got a dread shed t-shirt on. Yeah. Right what the fuck. <laughs> that nigga's t-shirt is made out of dread shed. <laughs> so he done sold it together. <laughs> Did you find the um one with the lady? The um. I found all with our the, auntie. I found all the videos, uh, but none of them are loaded when I click them. Ooh, that's not good. Word up, see Jetta, you know what I mean? Jetta, you've been over there for 40 minutes talking all that shit to us. Don't look at me like that. I ain't scared of you. I told you, you put your hands on me, I'm calling the whole goddamn police, bitch. That's handicapped. That's a hate crime, motherfucker. Yeah, you shit that, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm a handicap. Yo. Nigga, what you mean? I'm going to lure you in with all this <laughs> shit talking, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to make you want to fight me as soon as you fight me. As soon as you hit me a little bit, I'm calling the police, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, before they get the video, claim your NFL team right now, look, God damn look, it. Look, 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 fly, look. Eagles, fly in this bitch. Nigga, fuck your Eagles. Patriots, <laughs> nigga. Yo, none of the videos are loading because Jetta downloaded them improperly. Um, <laughs> I ain't no snitch, so I'm going to take that. <laughs> nah, I fucked them up. Now nah, it's the downloader that I use. Yeah, yeah. But when that's why I was saying if I get them from YouTube, they usually download no problem. Oh, cause if that, you try to take them from other sources, that they one act crazy. wasn't from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the topics that we should discuss for a good five minutes. Yeah. One was um. We got to pick the, one topic because I don't Venice, want no. The Venezuela, Venezuela niggas Venezuela. taking over the Carter. Now and let's let's see if. I can open up my phone on the USB. I know Hold one up. of them will play. Those on were on YouTube. because yeah, I got my tab. <laughs> Yo, those were on YouTube. Them shit should play. 
right. Uh, we should uh, at least get the uh, Trump one with uh, Trump. Uh, now they work out uh, videos, son. Uh, uh, Cap, turn your volume down. Uh, uh. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they um they work out videos, son. Smack that. Oh, Lord. yeah, you're a bad influence on Sir, yo. <laughs> shit. Can I please in a row? Oh shit! Yeah, it works. Okay, so. All right, we going. We, we <laughs> are we ready? <laughs> can you right. turn it on? So, so turn question. The tab on? Hold on, let me double check. Qu- I'm just all right. All right, just double checking. Uh, Quest, uh, you want to give him a quick rundown? Yeah. Uh, so this is basically uh, footage caught from the Venezuelan immigrants who we were talking about many, many episodes ago when we were feeling kind of suspicious about how Biden was letting 80,000 of them come in since the beginning hey, of the out, year. shout out to Christopher Coleman that said that yeah. we don't have an immigration problem. No, we don't have an immigration problem. They're going to be sharing crops and all that is what he was saying back in the old episodes. You can check them out. But me, you know what I'm saying, with the antennas up, knowing that some fuck shit was going on, boom, manifest months later, here we go. They taking over Colorado, Aurora, Colorado apartments like it's the Carter, New Jack City style with ARs and all types of shit, strong arming people. You think they could take over um, Elmira like that? Nah, because... Cause our, cause our um our, our apartments I'm a, I'm aren't like in right one now. building. Them shits are spread about. Like, I'm gonna tell you something right now, and I'm not disagreeing with none of what you're saying. Not not the Whitsburg, but I'm gonna, say, I'm, a, in the burg. I'm, a, I'm gonna say it like this: We don't live in the burg, so it's gonna be different. Niggas from Rochester came down here and took over, and very few Elmira niggas stood up for what we represented. Very, very good few. point. Very good yeah. point. Very few of them. So yeah. very if, good point. If they come in here with ARs and they come in here on about that life, there's very few. Elmira niggas that is gonna be real enough. Yo, I don't hold on, hold on. You, you know what's different now? All these young is strapped and they different time. spinning blocks. Yep. So the OG's gonna sit back and try to talk them out of doing it. But if it's needed, it's gonna happen. They're gonna do it. Um, but you are completely right because We've seen the invasions almost like, Son, like it came from Mars, right? Word up. We seen the invasions and watched it. And niggas came in and took the fiends, took the the the, That's how the, the guns, houses. That's how the guns got here and, yeah. and it, you know, and I and we watched them niggas take over yeah. and that's and they still here right now. And keep in mind we love I got family in Rochester. Word up. No, I'm I, not even talking about specifically half Rochester. My family half, in Rochester. I, I wouldn't say half of mine, but at least like less than a quarter is out there. My half, a um, whole half of mine. Sometimes is. they come out here. You know what I mean. My pops is always out there visiting, so it ain't even a uh, love or hate situation. Right. It just is what it is. Yeah. Word up. Uh, but now it's love. It's no Elmira versus Rochester no, stuff. It's, it's no Elmira. Because they, 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 they Elmira it's niggas good. now. Yeah, 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 when you yeah, here for twenty yeah, years, yeah. bitch, you an Elmira yeah, nigga just like that. me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so let's check out this um Ven- With Facebook cousins. You stupid, <laughs> sir. Uh, the Venezuelan, you got the audio on for it too. And uh, we'll see uh, how y'all feel uh, about this. You got hit play, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> Colorado are calling a recent violent incident associated with a Venezuelan street gang a quote isolated incident, but it's raising fears once again of a surge in crimes committed by migrants hundreds of miles away from the border. As national correspondent Christine Forzal reports. This look like old barrels. Oh, it's a scene Whoa. that seems to be out of a developing nation. You where have corruption and violence run rampant. But this, but this surveillance, surveillance video, video is from an apartment, from an apartment complex, complex in Aurora, Aurora Colorado. Colorado. To your knowledge, what are the men in this video doing? They are going through the complex. Like I told that they are, um, you know, heavily armed. They control the complex. They control who comes in, who goes out. Um, they go from door to door. They have pushed their way into many complexes. They have thrown people out. Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski blames neighboring Denver for its sanctuary policy, which provides services to undocumented migrants, the vast majority not connected to crimes, and there to find work. Those seen in this video, though, believe to be associated with the violent Venezuelan gang, Tren de Arangua, designated by the U.S. Treasury Department as a transnational criminal organization, closely watched by the FBI. We're certainly trying Tracking that particular gang, TDA, as we refer to it, whether it's their you know drug trafficking, extortion, kidnapping for ransom, um, 
you know, different kinds of violent crime. Four Venezuelan migrants associated with the same gang were just indicted for this jewelry store heist in Denver. Two others believed to be involved in the attack of New York City police officers in Times Square in January. And the suspect in the murder of Lake and Riley has connections as well. Venezuela and some other countries have no diplomatic relationship with the United States, which means information about migrants' backgrounds would not be shared. We have no ability to verify their criminal background or whether they belong to a Venezuela gang, but yet we're still releasing the United States. Former President Donald Trump says if he wins the election in November, he'll implement a mass deportation policy. Vice President Kamala Harris has indicated a shift on border policy with support for a more restrictive approach. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell. Trump, nigga, Trump. <laughs> Yo, get Trump in office. Just so, fix all this shit. So, how do you guys feel about? Actually, sir, you're the young one in the building. How do you feel about that? Does it Boy, affect you? Does it make you feel any way, or are you just like whatever? Uh, a Anything of, is a little bit of both, really, because it's like it hasn't happened yet. But I'm still a little worried that they're gonna try to like spread. take out as many places as possible and like make it easier for them to like I don't know like traffic stuff do all their stuff easier because they have more room and more places to go so yeah, it's yeah like, they're undocumented you can't even track them like that yeah but hmm blame Biden and if, um I think you ain't see Biden hopping over that counter on the video <laughs> where was Biden he just, yeah. Biden fell down um, some stairs. You think he can jump over a table? He just acted. That's just crazy because you know what? They're bringing they're bringing news to things that people that people in America do all the time. This shit happens all the time. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just like you said, the Carter. What's the Carter? That's because we've watched movies <laughs> and we've seen this shit happen right. over time. It's just now that. It's the Venezuelan niggas yeah, instead of just that niggas. live in those areas. I mean, we live in a suburban, urban community, so yeah. we haven't seen that. Yeah. But people that live in those areas have seen it since the beginning That's of time. True. Exactly. Why is it that they're throwing that in the news now? Um, because it's because it, well, it, now? no, it's Rain because too? it's because why are they throwing it in the news now? Because as soon as we watch the video, what did Quest say? Oh, Trump fucked Biden. So because we're in a an election year, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, ah, everything, go. everything that they're doing is just like Conspiracy Quest would say. Everything that they're doing is spoon feeding us little tidbits Thanks. to make us watch and go towards the things that they want us to see and get emotional connections. Exactly. To yeah, as soon as, reaction, cause you yeah. said, cause we're talking about Venezuelan. We're not talking about nothing but Venezuelan in the Carter and quest is fuck Biden, Trump, <laughs> this, that right, shit. Yes. So, he got, so he, so that shit already force fed his own personal emotions. No yes, disrespect. Sir. No, no, towards, not taken. Towards what he feels like is the real reason. Yeah, because it don't have nothing to do with Biden. It don't have nothing to do with Biden. Only because it was because, in his administration. But it don't Trump, have nothing to do with Trump Biden. wanted to put the wall up and well, say fuck the niggas. But listen, what I'm saying. Ain't coming but listen, but listen yeah, what I'm saying. It kind of makes you put thought into why did Trump say so adamantly? That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's something we didn't know about. We did. Yo, he was trying to prevent that. I'm not disagreeing with none of that. That's all. That's why I said I'm not disagreeing with none of that. All I'm saying is that what the what the video we just watched. That happens in New York. That happens in Chicago. Yeah. That happens in L.A. Yeah. That happens in Houston. That happens in Miami. That happens in all these cities all the motherfucking time. Why isn't it captured on camera and put on the news? Because it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be um, politically motivated because they're niggas and Spanish people who are Americans. But because this is a Venezuelan thing and they can say border this, they can do the hashtags that are going to create I respect. I respectfully disagree saying. because anything that got niggas looking bad is going on the news. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's like true. there's no way that niggas taking over a project. Bro, bro. With, no, that listen, would listen, never happen. It would that never would, happen. Son, that would never not be on the news if it's caught on ring. I'm yeah. just saying that respectfully. 400 people got murdered in Chicago. They talked about it three or four times. Damn. Yeah. 400 people got murdered in Chicago. 400 
people got murdered Damn, in Chicago in a few son. months, I know. and they talked about it once or twice on the national. So you can't. I'm not disrespecting. I'm just not saying what you said. I respect I, I what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, I'm ju- but I'm just saying that. Like, just, but I'm just. Man. But I'm just saying. If you think about it like this, that it, ain't even newsworthy. Right. Granted, it's because been happening for a long time, but it's it's more acceptable for, because of Chicago, and was a caught on ring. Bro, what do we do? How do we move forward from here? Hundred murders. I know that's a lot, bro. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a lot. What would y'all do if we had an influx of Venezuelans moving here that was on some gang gang shit? I, I, see, if they wanna, I see if they want to um, cut my grass. I was going to say, because I need some shit fixed at my house, and I've been doing it slowly. And Nigga, I got I ain't got mines, nothing to get bro. y'all. I got mine, bro. I'm just saying, y'all Venezuelan niggas, my name is Big Germ. They call me Hoodie. I got mine, bro. I don't got Fuck no problem with shit, y'all. Nigga. I got a couple dollars for you, and I, I throw Fuck something on that, the grill. bro. Man. Fuck, I'm sleeping lighter than I already sleep, nigga. Yo. All right, we love y'all, man. Like, like follow, note. and share. Yeah, you already know. My Episode say, 61. Holla. Yeah, we monetize now, baby. Let's get to Woo. the bag.